Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got quite a few things to go over, plenty of Nintendo updates regarding the next Direct, also regarding them not being at Gamescom this year, which could have implications for the Switch 2. We also have some new Legends DA rumors to go over, there's a lot of things to break down and take a look at today. So if you're excited for the video, as always, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try to hit 500 likes, it really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we cover in today's video. Subscribe if you're brand new, ring the notification bell. With all of that out of the way, let's get into the video and I really hope that you enjoy. So, starting things off, let's go over these new Nintendo Direct updates. So, originally, from a source, we had this kind of, I guess, schedule for what Nintendo was planning for the first few months of the year. So, this was tweeted out by Centro way back on the 20th of Feb, saying, Current Switch 2 reveal timing rumors. So, things are moving due to the internal delay of the console's launch via the person who originally broke the news on the delay. So, we were supposed to be getting an Indie World in March or early April. We're supposed to be getting a Nintendo Direct in April. And then the Switch 2 reveal was going to be in June. Uh, and then also an initial confirmation without of the successor without uh, specific details could still happen in March, like Nintendo did for 3DS, Wii U, and NX. So, obviously, we haven't had the Switch 2 announcement yet um in march because we're now in april but this was kind of the schedule of what nintendo was planning however though we have now had updates regarding this so the person who originally leaked this information who again has a decent track record as well this isn't like a 4chan post this was a leaker that had got things correct and uh, not like to the extent of like Pyoro and stuff but they did get a lot of things right but the person who originally leaked this information is saying that they now believe that information was outdated and doesn't believe we're getting a direct this month so again the switch 2 may still be announced in june but it's unlikely now or at least according to this person that we're not going to be seeing a nintendo direct in April. So I really have no idea what's happening. I mean, we're already halfway through April regardless. So if we were going to get a direct, again, I'm recording this before any kind of direct's been announced, it'd have to be relatively soon. But uh, yeah, maybe in May we get one, but uh, April is looking unlikely for the next Nintendo Direct. We have Scott uh, Centro here saying a few more things, saying our take, the internal Switch 2 delay probably has Nintendo scrambling to make new plans for this year. This is why we haven't had much news this year and things will probably continue like this for a while. Overall, we expect this year to be pretty slow and boring. We probably will have to wait at least until June for news, and that applies to both Nintendo and Pokemon. I mean, Pokemon news in June is obviously likely, but it's the last couple of years we usually get the presents in August. Then we also get like the world stuff in August as well, regarding like competitive stuff for the new game, maybe. Um, so yeah, I, I I don't really know what what's going to be happening now. Like I'm assuming, as they've said here. Nintendo originally had all this stuff planned, but because the Switch 2 has now been delayed by like half a year, maybe even longer, they're going to be scrambling because they're like, originally, maybe have already announced the Switch 2, you know, that was maybe originally going to be the plan and they were going to be like, I don't know, covering all the stuff that was going to be dropped for the Switch 2, but now because that's been delayed, they, they have nothing to show because that was, everything's been pushed back, so... I don't really know. I don't really know the situation, but uh, it's, it's a little bit unfortunate that this is kind of happening like this. Uh, but either way, that's the Nintendo Direct updates. Let's move on to some Switch 2 potential stuff. It's regarding Nintendo at Gamescom. We have Stealth here talking about it, and then an article here as well about it on a um, Game Rant. So we have Stealth here saying Nintendo won't be attending Gamescom this year. This is confirmed. They have said this themselves. Last year after Gamescom, we got all those reports that Nintendo was showing off Switch 2 tech demos behind closed doors not this year and then we have people kind of talking about this as well saying i assume it would have been redundant since this was a good chance switch 2 stuff would have been rolling by now meaning every studio that would have needed to be informed would have been informed by now as well but of course because it has been pushed back you know they, they don't really have anything to show like maybe at gamescom they were going to sw show switch 2 stuff but because it's been pushed back they can't do that so now they've got nothing to show so they're not going to be there most likely is the the, the kind of scenario we also have this uh, article on game rant as well about it so despite the rumors of an imminent switch to announcement nintendo fans may have some disappointing news to deal with first before any update on the next gen console to be pro uh, more precise nintendo has reportedly confirmed that it is set to miss a major gaming exhibition later this year the wildly successful nintendo switch is in its seventh year of uh, existence and it's finding it increasingly hard to keep up with the demanding AAA games. With the rumored Switch 2 waiting in the wings, these hardware limitations could soon be addressed as Nintendo looks to write the next chapter of its console legacy. 
However, it seems like the plans to announce the Switch successor may have taken a backseat based on recent news. So as reported by Games uh, Wurfschaft, a Nintendo spokesperson has confirmed that the company will not be an exhibitor at Gamescom this year. Uh, or exhibitor, should I say. According to the translated text, the Switch maker noticed that it reached the decision after careful consideration. While the list of companies attending the event hasn't been released yet, fans had been expecting Nintendo to make an appearance based on its participation last year. The annual gaming showcase will return to uh, Germany on August the 21st. Even though it isn't the first time that Nintendo has opted to skip a major gaming exhibition, there had been growing anticipation for the rumored Switch to announcement to take place at Gamescom 2024. This is partly due to reports from last year stating that Nintendo secretly held a Switch 2 demo for developers at Gamescom 2023. However, it now appears that the Japan-based company has other plans that may have pushed back its next console or chosen another date for its unveiling. And then Switch 2 rumors point towards a launch next year. So in recent years, the progress of the Nintendo Switch games has stalled in terms of visual upgrades. For instance, there are only slight graphical improvements in Legends of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom compared to its predecessor, Breath of the Wild, despite the latter releasing six years earlier. With the latest rumor suggesting that Switch 2 could arrive in a year, it seems to be only a matter of time before games on Nintendo consoles make the leap to next-gen graphics. So according to the rumors and leaks till now, Nintendo could launch the Switch 2 as soon as early 2025. In addition, reports reveal that it concurrently focused on first-party games that will launch alongside the console. While it is certain there won't be any announcement about the Switch successor at Gamescom in August, Nintendo may instead make a presentation at a different event um, or during one of its Nintendo Direct live streams, whose next edition is rumored to be slated for either May or June this year. So that's kind of the Gamescom update there as well. It is unfortunate because obviously Gamescom is a massive event and it's always nice when you know, Nintendo are there revealing new things and stuff, but I definitely think the, the Switch 2 being pushed back definitely has quite a big role as to why everything else is kind of not happening now which is which is unfortunate but it's just the way it is you know if this big thing that we're probably going to reveal soon has been pushed back six months you know every, all the plans fall through so either way let me know your thoughts on all the nintendo stuff when do you think we're going to see a nintendo direct next and also what are your thoughts on nintendo also dropping out of gamescom so that's all the nintendo stuff moving on we got a pretty substantial rumor here to go over for pokemon legends za this was posted on 4chan on the 12th of april um, and it's titled Mega Leak ZA by Anonymous. Of course, this was posted on 4chan. So as always, take it with a massive grain of salt. Um, always believe it's fake until, I guess, proven true. Uh, because most of the time, they are fake. But anyway, starts off by saying, I have some information about Pokemon Legends ZA. I know it just seems crazy, but time will prove me right. Let's go. So they don't say how they know the information or anything. But they, they have some information, which is apparently crazy. But uh, either way, they go on to say the starters are Piplup, Chikorita, and Tepig. So Piplup obviously makes a lot of sense because Empoleon and Napoleon and the links there. Chikorita and Tepig, I I don't really see any kind of resemblance to, to them. The, the also other thing as well, like if there's going to be a Generation 5 starter in this game, it's going to be Snivy. Like it's not going to be Tepig. Um, and obviously it can't be Oshawott because Oshawott was um, for, for obviously Legends Arceus. Um, so Tepig doesn't make any sense to me at all and especially if we are going to get generation 5 games this year which again we we might it's very unlikely they're going to do the generation 5 starters in the generation 5 games which obviously has to happen it's unlikely that they're going to put another generation 5 starter in the game that comes out after that as well so if there is a gen 5 starter it's going to be snivy but if we get gen 5 remakes this year it's probably going to be neither of them but pit up is i think a very very safe assumption that that's going to be one of the starters if it's not the gen 6 stars it very well could just be froki um uh what's it, uh, fennekin and, and chespin it could very well be those three but if it's not I think Piplup is the most likely option to be one of the starters, just because of Napoleon and everything like that. Anyway, though, those are apparently the starters for Pokemon Legends ZA. Moving on, saying they had Mega Evolutions, even though they had other types like the starters from Legends Arceus. So what they're saying here is that they get the new forms like the Arceus starters did, but they're also getting Mega Evolutions as well, I believe. I think that's what it's saying. So... Meganium is a plant and psychic type, so grass psychic for Meganium. When it mega evolves, it loses the psychic type and gains the fairy type. So that's massive. I think Meganium, if it does ever get a new form or anything, it has to be grass fairy. It'd be such a good typing for it and actually give it some competitiveness um, in, in the competitive scene. But it being, so it'd be like Colossian Meganium, which would be psychic grass, and then it would mega evolve and be 
fairy grass it'd be kind of crazy if we got three new forms for these starters and three new mega evolutions as well it would be kind of cool to see but I think that's very, very unlikely. I think if we're ever going to get something like that, it's going to be it's going to be three Colossian forms for like these starters, and then the Mega Evolutions are probably going to be for the Generation Six stars. I think that makes a lot more sense. But anyway, that's apparently Meganium. Embor is a Fire and Rock type, but when it Mega Evolves, it gains the Earth type and being Quad. So I'm assuming that's Ground type, and it becomes Quad. I don't know. Embor being a Quadruped doesn't really sound great, um, but at the same time. Ground, ground fire as well. It's an okay typing. Obviously, it's quad, quad weak to water, which isn't ideal. But fire rock also is as well. So just keep those water types away from Ember uh, if you don't want it to get one shot. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. It'd be nice to not have a fire fighting type in this game. And then Empoleon is a water dragon type. So this... It's, it's hard to say because Dragon, I feel like, isn't fair for the starter trio. Even though we've had, like, Mega Charizard get the Dragon type and stuff like that. But I think for your base trio starters, I think Dragon type is relatively unfair because it just resists the other two. Um, unless, obviously, I mean, it won't resist water because it'll be neutral. But at the same time, it it's not super effective. So, Dragon's a little bit OP. Also, Water Dragon just doesn't really make sense for Empoleon. I don't know where the Dragon typing would come from. I'd, I'd more likely see Empoleon being, like, water fighting or something like that. And then when he Omega evolves, uh, his trident becomes huge and it gains the electric type. So I'm assuming that becomes water electric. I feel like they're just picking types out of nowhere and just throwing them on these Pokemon. Like, dragon makes no sense. Electric doesn't really make any sense. I mean, if it's got a trident, that's kind of cool. But I don't know. I'm not really a massive fan of that. I'd love Meganium to get fairy typing, but the other two doesn't really make much sense. Uh, and then everyone also gets a signature attack. So yeah, nothing crazy um, there. So that's the start of Pokemon with their Megas and everything like that. Uh, moving on, we have, counting these three Mega Evolutions, we have a total of 15 new Mega Evolutions. So among them are Mega Sylveon and Mega Aegislash. The two appear battling in the trailer. Sylveon gains the Flying type and Pink Wings, and Aegislash gains the Grass type instead of the Ghost type. Again, it just doesn't make any sense. They're just throwing random types on these Pokemon. Like, why would Sylveon be Fairy Flying? Um, I mean, it's... I could see the design being really, really cool but for it, but I think it would just stay as a fairy type. Aegislash becoming Grass Steel also makes absolutely no sense um, at all. Like, I don't I don't know why they would ever ever do that. I think Steel... Go like, I don't know why these Pokemon have to change typings when they Mega Evolve. A lot of the time, you know, a lot of them do, but a lot of them don't. Um, and, and that's just something to kind of like take, in, take into consideration as well. But either way, that's that. Uh, let's talk about other things now. A new way to battle by by turns. So I don't. They, it doesn't look like they're telling us about it. That I mean, the, the turn we know that turns aren't in Pokemon. I mean, turns are technically in Pokemon Legends Arceus, but obviously it's a lot different with the Agile style and the Strong style and stuff. I don't think they would change the way the battles are, though. I think they would keep that formula for Legends ZA, um, just because I don't know why they would change it, really. Uh, new Pokeballs. You saw one in the Pokeball episode of Pokemon Horizons. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's going to be interesting what Pokeballs they do use in this game. Like, I don't think it's going to be set far enough in the past for us to, for us to have, like, the Hisuian Balls. But are we going to have like the Pokeballs as well? Who knows? Maybe it's just a different type of Pokeball altogether. But uh, either way, new Pokeballs are apparently going to be present in Pokemon Legends ZA. Uh, complete Xerneas and complete Yveltal. Again, this sounds relatively likely, just like the Origin forms for Dialga and Palkia. Uh, we know that Xerneas and Yveltal do have complete forms. We just haven't seen them yet. Um, so I think it'd be really cool if we did get to see them in this game. Then it says, collect Zygarde cells around the city. Sometimes they will fall into the wrong hands and you'll have to battle NPCs to get them. That's kind of cool. I quite like that idea. I don't know if it's like an evil team or something, but yeah, maybe someone, maybe there's other collectors kind of like going around and you have to fight them and, and take the, uh, the Zygarde cells away from them. Something like that. That'd be cool though. Uh, several underground areas in Lumios so as, so as not to be alone in the city. So I'm assuming that's like the Paris Catacombs and stuff like that, it's just going to add more to the city below the city just so there's more to explore and stuff and you're not completely confined to the, the kind of ground ground level city of Lumios. And then it says, uh, let's see the tower being built. There will be important events around it. So I'm assuming that's... I, I think it's worded quite badly, but I'm assuming that means we're going to watch the tower being built and there's going to be important events around whilst it's being built. And then also uh, the prototype of that x and y weapon it just won't be fired because you'll stop it in time so i'm assuming this is going to be set in like a different universe to x and y's uh kind of storyline and stuff like that 
Uh, young AZ cutscenes, you will battle him at the end. So obviously very similar to X and Y where we battle AZ. Uh, we'll be battling a young AZ in this game apparently. I mean, I don't know how long ago this was set. Like AZ is on what, like 3,000 odd years old. I don't know when he kind of, I don't know how he ages. I don't know if like the first 1,000 years are his like childlike state. And then like the second 1,000 are like his young adult state and then the third the third thousand years are like his old state i don't really know how it works but uh, it'd be cool if we do I, I think az will definitely be in this game i think he will look younger depending on how far this is based in the past but either way that's apparently going to happen uh this time the one who will be used will be zygarde the game tells you about him during the game i don't know what that means i think that's worded quite badly um no idea uh, and then the villain team is called team flower um team flower I don't know. I've, it'd be cool if it was still Team Flare, just like an early adaptation of it. But uh, yeah, Team Flower, apparently the evil team in Pokemon Legends ZA. Then goes on to say their objective is to use him to not only activate the weapon. Oh, I see what it means. So this time they will be used. Okay, so the Team Flower are after Zygarde and not Xerneas or Yveltal. That makes a lot more sense. To not only activate the weapon, but to awaken Zygarde. In the end, he hibernates. That's why he doesn't appear in X and Y. Here in this game, he will be very difficult to face and capture, but he can return in the future. I mean, this completely contradicts itself because at this point, it's saying, you know, um, you'll stop it. You, you, we're stopping the weapon this time. So obviously, it's a different universe where the weapon does not get fired. However, though, they literally relate it to our X and Y universe here, which is saying why he doesn't appear in X and Y. It makes absolutely you know, like they're completely contradicting themselves right here. You know, it, they, they've said this is a different universe here, but then in this line, it says it's our universe. So. Yeah, surely that means it's definitely fake. Uh, craft similar items in Pokemon Legends Arceus. So crafting would apparently be back in Pokemon Legends ZA. Uh, here we also have new mounts. So obviously new ride Pokemon, just like we've got Bastion Legion, History and Braviary, Weird Ear, stuff like that. In Pokemon Legends Arceus, we'd be getting new mounts in this game. And also in the water, it's a Gyarados. So Gyarados is apparently... That'd be a really cool mount, to be fair. I'd love another Gyarados mount in um, Pokemon Legends ZA. And we all know it's in the game as well already because we saw it in the trailer. But either way, that is the uh, the, the the latest rumor for Pokemon Legends EA. Again, I, I unless it's just worded badly, badly they definitely contradict themselves in the, in, the, in the fact that they've like basically based this game in two different universes. Unless we travel between universes in this game, it's very unlikely. But um, yeah, I mean, I'm not a massive fan of this rumor anyway. A lot of it's really cool, but a lot of it just doesn't really make any sense at all. But either way, I'm calling it fake. But let me know your thoughts on this rumor. Do you think it is true or not? And also, what are your thoughts on all the other Nintendo Direct stuff and Nintendo Gamescom stuff that we covered today? Let me know your thoughts on all that. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like down below. Let's try it at 500. Like, say, leave a comment. Subscribe if you're brand new. Ring the notification bell for daily Pokemon content. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And until next time, peace.